Today we will be showing you how to replace a tape drive in a Dell PV132T tape library. This replacement will require downtime and should be scheduled with the system administrator. This drive replacement procedure is the same for all versions of both LTO and SDLT tape drives. The first thing you will need to do is note which drive of the library is the faulty drive. Drive 1 will be the right-hand drive when looking at the library from the rear. Drive 2 will be the left-hand drive. Once you have determined which drive is faulty, you will need to verify that the faulty drive is empty. If there is a tape cartridge in the faulty drive, you will need to try using the front panel commands to move the tape from the drive to a magazine slot. If the command fails because the tape is stuck in the drive, you will need to manually remove the tape once the replacement procedure is complete. For assistance with this, please see our videos about removing stuck tapes from both LTO and SDLT tape drives, depending on what style drive you have. Once you have verified that the drive is empty and downtime is scheduled, you will start by flipping off the power in the front of the library. Then you will move around to the back of the library and remove the power cord from the power supply. The next step will be to remove the data cable and or terminator from the rear of the faulty drive. Now that all cables are removed from the faulty drive, you can undo the thumb screws holding the drive in place. Then you can pull the drive straight back and out of the library. Before installing the replacement drive, you will want to take very careful note that there are two small plastic connectors inside the library that help guide the drive sled into the library backplane. These connectors are very fragile, so if you push the replacement drive in either too quickly or crooked, you will run the risk of breaking these connectors. Now you will install the replacement tape drive. Line up the tape drive with the black track in the empty drive bay and push the drive in straight and slowly, being careful to not break the plastic connectors. Once you feel the drive begin to seat itself in the back plane of the library, you can push firmly on the drive to seat it completely and then tighten down the thumb screws. Now you can reinstall the data cable and or terminator into the back of the drive and then plug the power cable into the power supply and return to the front of the library. Flip the power switch on and wait for the library to initialize. This should take approximately 5 minutes. Once the display shows the main status screen of the library, the initialization is complete. You will now need to reconfigure your backup software to be able to see and use the replacement drive. This may involve rescanning the hardware devices at an operating system level first if you have SCSI connected drives. For our purposes, since we use Semantic Backup Exec, we then need to restart the software services so that the drive can be detected and used properly. Your backup software procedure may be different. Any questions regarding backup software should be directed to your software support or manufacturer. If you are having any issues with the tape drive replacement procedure, or you are still getting drive errors after the drive replacement is complete, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.